What is up, friends and family? Welcome to another episode of The Refined Alchemist. I am once again up on the fucking mountain, my favorite spot, with once again my nephew. Nephew, brother, brother, nephew. Look at this shit. This is the shit that I've been talking about, right? Look at the sky, right? I don't wanna get my, my nephew over in the picture. But look at this. All right, this is what I've been talking about for a long time right now. Look how blue those mountains are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've told you that every time I come up on this mountain, crazy shit happens. Now, I have a video that I have not posted yet. If you look down in this ravine right here, this video right here is gonna give me the opportunity to insert another two videos. They're very, very short videos, right? But right down there in the ravine, yeah. I seen a, a steam cloud. Right? And that cloud went to the sky, went to the, the bottom, then came all the way up this mountain, past us, through this parking lot, and way up that other side of the mountain. Lo and behold, it was getting sucked off this side of the mountain all the way this way and when it went up this mountain it got started getting sucked up into the clouds and I have it all on film. About five minutes later of standing up here it literally looked like somebody shut off the pipeline and that whole distance back there there's steam vats. Again I'll post the video right after this. Alright let me get my happy ass in the car. I'll be back. So, once again, once again, something that has happened, obviously, that make me want to freaking make a video. This video has been a long time waning. Uh, I've been freaking... Uh, planning on making this video for a while now. I just didn't know when it was going to be the right time for me to fucking do it Or even if I wanted to do it. So for that, I'm sorry that I haven't posted in almost a year now <clears throat> but Let's be real for the most part a lot of the things that I needed to say have already been said in my videos uh, Again, I will state uh, One of my most important videos is one of my original ones is the definition uh, between meditation and magic if you have not seen that video, I highly, 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 highly recommend you go back and watch that video. Because it was one of my best videos. It was one of my most important videos. It tells you a lot of the ins and outs of certain things. Moving on, I don't need to reiterate what was in that video because... I have a serious question. But I've been on and off kind of talking to my nephew about this. This might be a... It's going to be an hour long video. Guaranteed. Uh, just because of uh, the edits that I'm going to have in it. Uh, other pieces of videos, other pictures. I'm going to probably try to splice some pictures. Uh, into it into the beginning of the video. Uh, I got to use a video editor that's on my phone, so that's going to be fucking interesting. Um, obviously, I'm sitting up on the mountain right at the moment, so for the most part, we've been kind of lucky. We haven't had people coming up here, but lo and behold, some. Some somebody just decided that he was gonna come up because I was making a video and sit right next to us, listen to some gay ass fucking nineteen eighties bullshit. So for that, I'm sorry. Anyway, so me and my nephew, yo, we always wind up having really interesting conversations, and I never fucking record them uh, for whatever reason. 
And uh, the last couple times we've gotten together and had conversations, we both said, man, we should actually be recording this because these will be like really good fucking, you know, podcasts on the Witcher McCall. Because if I'm not thinking of something and he's sitting here listening to me ramble, he could be asking a fucking question. Maybe, hey, you know, if he's thinking it, maybe some of y'all are thinking it. <clears throat> so moving on. So things in this reality are not what we we believe them to be, right? There's more truth in movies than there is in your news. Everything in this reality has been inverted, flipped upside down, right? Religions backwards. Uh, medicine's backwards. Medicine causes more harm than fucking poisons. Um, just everything. Well, guys don't even know if they're fucking guys anymore. And I'm pretty sure you got a dick between your legs. I mean, it's not rocket science here. Um, so one of the things that I've always talked about in my videos is free will. Okay, I've always talked about free will and... Trying to make people aware of what free will is. Right? And just because you know the words and you think you understand the words does not mean you know what they mean. But just know this. Free will is literally so powerful that it was the one force in this reality that divided the heavens. They literally started the war in heaven and made Lucy's bitch ass fall. Right? So that's how powerful free will is. So if you're truly thinking in this reality that everything is free will, everything is a conscious story, uh, choice. Well, then my perception on, say, suicide, right, would change. You know, hear me out. I know what I'm saying. I hear the words that are fucking coming out of my mouth. But hear me out. What do you know about purgatory? Okay. Because we've all heard that name before. Shit, most of us have probably heard the definition before, but we never really thought much past it. But the definition of purgatory is you're stuck in a reality where you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily good and you're not necessarily evil. So you have to learn something. Upon learning it, that determines whether you go to heaven or hell because that determines if you're good or bad. Well, isn't that life? Isn't that this existence? You come here, right? You live out your existence, and upon leaving this existence determines whether you go to heaven or hell, right? So, wouldn't this be purgatory? Now, I also believe that purgatory and reincarnation are one and the same, right? And I believe the elites found this information out. And what do I mean by that is, is if they know the ins and outs of reincarnation, what if they cock-blocked us so we never learn what we we're supposed to come here and learn. Well, what would happen to our soul, our quote unquote soul? It would keep coming back, trying to learn whatever it is it was supposed to learn. So you, they have an infinite amount of time to feed off of your energy, to feed off of your suffering and try to ultimately steal your soul. So here's two things. One, give yourself a pat on the back because they've had an infinite amount of time to steal your soul and you're still here. So they have failed. But then take a step back and look outside yourself. You're still here. So you never ascended either. So what are you missing? Now, I don't believe all of us have been here. Like, I don't necessarily believe that my energy source has been here. I believe that my energy source was brought here. Whether it was sent here by the father or somebody summoned me out of fucking heaven. And again... Listen, I'm not here to debate semantics on your beliefs, okay? These are my beliefs. If you don't necessarily believe in the things that I believe in, there's a thousand other channels out there that will cater to your needs. Me, I just tell what I feel, okay, and how I perceive things and try to give and, and you know, talk about the things that happened to me in my past and, my, you know, that led me to this point.
you know and if you actually go back and watch my videos you'll see that this has been a long progression this wasn't like hey i woke up one day and decided to fucking make youtube videos for clout i don't give a fuck about clout do i have thousands of subscribers no can i get them yes absolutely all i got to do is follow the same guidelines that everybody else does and talk about the same stupid shit everybody else talks about but here I am, I'm just a guy in front of a mirror. No eye candy, no music, no strippers, none of that fucking crazy shit. And I've racked up thousands and thousands of views. So I must be saying something. You cock. So with that being said, going back to purgatory. So if we're in this reality, and this is purgatory, right? And I'm a, a firm believer in free will, right? So if I'm a firm believer in free will, when do I get to say enough is enough, right? That's, that's my questions to you, and I want some answers in the comments if anybody watches this. I know I haven't posted in a while, so I'm probably not going to get the views that I you know normally once would got. But in the comments, yo, when do we get to say enough is enough and utilize our free will and say, check, please. Like, I'm done with this reality. It's not going to change. People don't want to change it. So why do I have to continuously sit here and suffer? Wouldn't that be consenting to the bullshit that's going on in this reality? Like, if I can literally feel like I there's nothing else that I could do to try to change this reality, right? Friends don't listen to the shit that we have to say, even though now people are starting to wake up and realize people like me are on to something, right? You can't get family to listen to a fucking thing you got to say. In fact, family would be probably one of the first ones to burn you down for being this way. Shit, mine did. Well, if you want to roll into current situations, they still are. So when... The, week is, uh, the question is, is all right, so if you take the sin aspect that we've been indoctrinated away, right, because they don't want people uh, doing this shit, obviously, but if you were on a spiritual level like I am, like I've proven that I have been throughout all my fucking videos, and all I've been ever preaching about is free will, destiny, right, not fate, not faith. Those are set in stone. Destiny is ever evolving. Every fucking choice that you make changes your destiny. Fate, if you want to put fate to the extreme, now I always say faith equals fate. Because if you have blind faith in anything, yes, you will have a fate. It will be set in stone based upon your beliefs. You will make that fate a fate. Then, then yeah, literally you could probably just sit there and whatever's going to come to you is going to come to you, right? Moving on. Where a destiny, every fucking decision you make changes your destiny. So if I'm a good guy today and a bad guy tomorrow, what, you don't think that either one of them is not going to have an effect on my spiritual well-being? You're sadly mistaken. Of course they are, right? It doesn't say go be a scumbag in the Bible. Not that I preach about the Bible because I really don't and y'all know that, Right? Now, it's really funny too. So I want your I want I want your guys' opinion on that because that's something that I've been really pondering these last fucking, you know, last almost last this whole last year. It's like, okay, so if I could sum up my whole entire life into one word, suffering, right? And the people that I fucking care about the most are the ones that fucking backstab me the most and make me out to be this ever evil villain when the only thing I've ever done was try to show them how to be financially prosperous, spiritually prosperous, and physically prosperous. They're the ones kicking and screaming the entire fucking time. I don't lie. I don't cheat. I don't steal. Now, I'm not saying I've never done drugs. Yes, I've done drugs, but I am not addicted to any drugs. I haven't been addicted to any drugs in a very, very long time, right? I was drinking alcohol a year not too long ago. I had a fucking incident. So guess what? I don't drink alcohol anymore. I haven't drank alcohol since that incident, okay? Not that I promote any of these things anyway. I mean, yes, I smoke weed, but this reality sucks dick, right? Who the fuck wants to sit here sober and watch this fucking shit go down and have this shit constantly fucking in my head in the background? The mountains, why are they blue? Right? Why why are they fucking blue? Right? Nobody cares. 
Nobody's doing anything about it. Bro, you need six paychecks to fucking run a household right now. And that's not even counting your car, your phone, or any other fucking luxuries, right? And the money, the prices just keep going up. My income doesn't go up, right? So what do you do if you have nobody in your fucking corner? Right? And it's you fighting the world. That means you have nothing. You're a ramen soup with a campfire motherfucker. Yeah, working fucking 60 hours a week. You're a ramen noodle soup in a fucking campfire motherfucker. How sad is that? Yo, I'm almost 50 years old and that's the fucking shit that I have to look forward to. Right? When do I get to a journey around the world and explore the world? When do I get to fucking retire and grab a boat and live on the fucking ocean? Right? When do, when do I get to do any of this shit? Oh, I can't? Why? Because somebody else is telling me I can't? Fuck that. And we're just letting them come up with new laws, new regulations to just keep tightening their grip, tightening their grip, tightening their grip, and nobody's doing anything about it. Let me tell you something. One of the biggest problems with mankind is you've been indoctrinated with the number one. Think about how many of the songs are out there that are titled number one, that are about number one. How many movies? How many Disney classics, right? Every Disney classic, you got one princess, one prince, one villain, one this, one that. The Bible, you got one God, one Messiah, one Satan, one this, one that. You know what that does subconsciously in the fucking head? Right? Right? That fucks you up spiritually, right? Because there's 8 billion people in the planet right now. Quote, unquote, planet. Plane of existence or whatever. Right? So there's 8 billion people... In this reality right now. Right? So if Christ was only one person. The chances of you being Christ is one in eight billion. Correct? Well guess what? That's exactly the way they want you to think. Now the same way of looking at the same problem. Is there's eight billion ones. Everybody's the one. You're the one. I'm the one. He's the one. Everybody's the one. And that's the way people should be thinking. He's not the one. I'm the one. We're all the ones. And when people realize that we are all the ones. This reality will change literally overnight. People ask me all the time. Why can't you stop praying? Why I'm uh, not praying, not praying, preaching. I'm sorry. Why can't you stop preaching? I mean, you always talk about this fucking this shit, whether it's doomsday, whether it's yada 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 yada. Well, knowledge is power. Right? I, I tell my brother and nephew here all the fucking time, knowledge is power, right? How do you expect to change the future if you don't know what's wrong with the past? Because if you don't know what's wrong with the past, then you wouldn't even realize that something's wrong in the first place. You'd have just kept carrying on with this shit the way that it is. What if there was a better civilization that was before us, and now we're just basically in a glorified slavery situation? Which is exactly what we were in. Right? But what if we weren't always that way? What if we were a free-spirited people that if I wanted to go to fucking Africa, I could just go to fucking Africa? If I wanted to go to fucking Europe, I could go to fucking Europe. There was no nothing, nothing but my own limitations holding me back. Now everything's holding you back. I can't even leave the country unless I got 16,000 forms of ID and a stool sample. Yeah, you want me to sit in the cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. And listen, here's a warning to all you motherfuckers. All right. My family is seriously letting me down with some some things. Some uh some of my family members are having kids. Right? Let me explain something to you. When you have kids, spiritually, you have one major job. Protect your fucking kids. Okay? If you shouldn't be able to protect protect your kids, you shouldn't have them. And if you have somebody like me in your life that's warning you about specific things and you say, fuck me and just go about your fucking shit anyway, I, I truly feel sorry for you, right? Example, if I tell you what Christmas is and what Christmas is truly about and you still decide to go and celebrate Christmas, you think that's going to be spiritually beneficial for you? No, hell no. 
You didn't even go and try to research it and validate the words that I was saying. See, you shouldn't just listen to what I have to say and just run with that either. You should listen to the things that I say and try to research it and try to discredit it. Try to bunk it. Oh, no, this motherfucker's full of shit. I'm going to prove him wrong. That's what you should be trying to do because upon proving me wrong, you'll find that you can't. But if you had the mindset, oh, I'm going to prove him wrong, then you're going to dig hard and you're going to dig deep. Well, guess what? That's where the answers are. Right? You can't just go online anymore because they completely, you know what the dead internet theory is? The dead internet theory is basically about 10, 10 years old now, maybe, maybe even more. It's basically saying that the FBI and the CIA got their hands on the internet. So anything that was of truth has been altered in some shape or form. And I could prove it. Tesla, Nikolai Tesla was a famous inventor known for his creativity with electricity, right? Now, if you type in Tesla, what pops up? The fucking car and Elon Musk. You really got to put in a search to find Nikolai Tesla. Why? Because they don't want you knowing about free energy. Okay? We are surrounded by free energy, literally. Do you know that there's an element that's missing off of our periodic table called ether? Yeah, I'm not talking about the, the ether you cut drugs with either. I'm talking about electrical ether. Right? Literally, it's right around us right now. And if you had the right equipment set up the right way, you could be pulling endless amount of electricity. What do you think the pyramids really were? They were giant electrical factories. Why do you think all the old historical buildings had all those copper pipes or, uh, you know, lightning rods on top of them? Right? You think that was to protect the building? No. That was to suck the ether out of the fucking atmosphere and power the town. Right? You think these churches were built for churches? No. These were power stations. Right? Take the, uh, you know, the modern day Catholic church, you know, the Gothic style church, and then compare it to a nuclear power plant. Look at the plans of a nuclear power plant and those old cathedral style Gothic churches. They're one and the same. Coincidence? No, because if you actually look at the windows that are in these buildings, these circular windows that are up in the fucking corners of these gothic stuff, those are frequencies. If you look up images of specific frequencies, these fucking windows show you all the frequencies. All right. Now, on that topic, whatever happened to the bells? Right. Whatever happened to the bells? Right. I remember I grew up in the eighties. Right. And we used to walk down the street and every Sunday the church bells would ring, right? Noon, the church bells would ring, right? I don't hear no fucking church bells no more. And then when you do research on the church bells, they say that they started destroying them around that time frame. Then when you do more research, you find out that these church bells were attuned to a specific heel and frequency that are in line with the same frequencies that are in the Catholicism churches, right? The old Gothic, Greco-style, Gothic, Roman, Greco, whatever the fuck, right? So the pipe organs were in the same bracket. They were tuned to this healing frequency. And if you actually look at modern music, modern music was detuned from a healing frequency to whatever the fuck it is now, which is the exact opposite. They actually did experiments with this particular frequency and it actually damages DNA. So just by listening to fucking music, especially, you know, through, you know, Clubs and shit like that that have these huge monumental speakers and you get hit with all that percussion. Guess what? It is destroying your DNA. You don't think they don't have that technology? Of course they got that technology. They got that technology. Look at the LRAD system. All right. People are always talking about, yo, I got guns. Oh, uh, what's the government going to do? I got guns. Bitch, what are you going to do? You can't fucking use it. Okay, because if they have this LRAD system, they could literally mount this giant speaker to the bottom of a helicopter, hover it above your house, turn this bitch on full blast, and everybody in that house is going to fucking drop to their knees in the immense amount of pain. You think you're going to fucking shoot a gun then? Bro, you're fucking be bleeding from your rectum and your eyeballs and your ears. The only thing you're doing is praying for death. Give me that shit. So what? You got earplugs in. Who cares? It's fucking destroying your bones. You ever seen the original Credible Hulk movie? Remember the very end of it? They busted out the two fucking speakers, y'all, and that was the only thing that stopped the Hulk? Y'all, and it was like rippling his skin and you ripped the doors off the shit, yo? 
Those are literally the LRAD systems. Don't believe me? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. So what good is your fucking gun? Huh? What good is your gun? Everybody's worried about these motherfuckers making underground doomsday bunkers, right? No, motherfucker, you're looking in the wrong direction. They're not down. They're up. Okay? They're not down. They're not going underground. Maybe some of them in some locations, they got storage facilities and shit until the technology got caught up. And now the technology caught up. You ever seen that movie with Matt Damon called Elysium? The whole premise of the movie was they were living in these fucking spacecraft in the outer atmosphere fucking while everybody on Earth was suffering, dealing with plagues, riots, and poverty. What do you fucking see going on right now? What do you think 5G is? 5 gigahertz of electricity, right? I've talked about it for a long time. My teeth will show it, right? And that, what the 5G is doing to my teeth, that's doing to people's bones, period. So, like, we're going to have a big rise in, like, things like osteoporosis or, you know, bone. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, I'm starting to have brain fog later in life, you know, probably from all this 5G. So, my words might not be as crisp as they once been. But, I mean, I'm just intoxicated with, with this shit as everybody else. So, yeah, it's starting to have, like, neurological effects on me also. So, I've been finding myself slipping with words that I normally wouldn't slip with or phrases or even thoughts. So if you catch me slipping, yeah, that's that's 5G, right? So think about this: if 5G is given off an electromagnetic field, right? Think of a magnet. How does a bullet magnet work? Well, a bullet magnet works by fucking two opposing things so you got south pole face and south pole and they kind of just sit there and hover above each other right so if you wanted to fucking make billions of tons of shit hover what would be the most efficient way of doing that well I'll create an electromagnetic field i'll create another electromagnetic field of opposing forces and bam you just literally sit effortlessly right on a fucking bubble even if one of them probably you know uh, shut down or had some kind of failure you'd probably be able to hover for quite some time before there was an actual issue especially considering they have 5g towers literally you know every mile on the mile regardless if you're going up a fucking mountain or down a mountain but it's funny because i've did a lot of traveling on buses and planes and shit and ironically as soon as you get about 20 minutes outside any major city you lose wi-fi which is kind of weird. I mean, Wi-Fi is wireless, you know, yada, yada, yada. So if you're on a bus and just because you left the fucking city and you lost Wi-Fi, that should tell you that it has nothing to do with satellites, right? Because what difference does it make if I left the city? I should still have fucking Wi-Fi, especially on a bus that says free Wi-Fi. So what? I only get Wi-Fi if there's 5G towers? So how come we got billions of satellites supposedly floating in space right now? See, people better fucking start paying attention. Okay? Wow, you see how my screen just got fucked up? Look at that. Mm -hmm. This happened twice now for no fucking reason. I saw it the first time. Too. I hopefully I caught it. Yeah, I saw it that, but I didn't want to really acknowledge it. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look at the video and I hope that God that comes in because there should have been no reason why my camera fucking did that. <coughs> We're behind trees, There's, so the sun the sun is is shining that way, like the sun is going that way. And it's over there, you know what I mean. And there's trees over there, so. I don't know. There, there's nothing really bright right here for it to fucking do. I, I don't know, man. Usually when people see orbs and shit like that, that means there's something spiritual right here. So I don't know. Is it gin or something relatively close? Who fucking cares? They're pussies. Real quick on the internet shit. Didn't we fucking call the moon? On the Wi-Fi shit. Didn't we call the moon? See, that, that's another... Another fact, we were just talking about this year, uh, last night and the night before, too. So, 
that's another very interesting fact. Let's think about this, ladies and gentlemen. So we were able to call the moon from a landline. Okay? Think about that. We called the moon with a landline. Okay? If you look at the phone that was used at that particular... That bitch plugged into the wall. So that bitch plugged into the wall. How the fuck did we call space in the first place? And you're telling me they had better technology back then? That they could have a 40-something minute phone call with a moon? But I can't even have a 10-minute fucking phone call with somebody down the street. How does that make sense? Right? I basically could have launched a space shuttle with the electronics that are in today's microwave. But it's 2024 and we, we, we can't go back to the moon because we destroyed the technology and it's too hard to get it back. I mean, that was literally what NASA said. What? Where did it come from? What? The technology? technology? Probably summoning demons. They probably had to make a... See, there was probably a mass casualty event, kind of like 9-11, where they killed a bunch of people, they nuked something, blew something up, sacrificed a bunch of people, and had, you know, the ability to do some shit. But that's even if you believe the narrative that we even went to the moon and you don't take, you know, red hot chili peppers amongst many other motherfuckers. Uh, like their song California Cajun, where they literally said space is the final frontier, but was created in a Hollywood basement. And then if you actually look at NASA and having a fucking a direct contact or a de direct contract with Disney... Right? And not just Disney, but Universal Studios. Then, yeah, things will start making fucking sense. Because, yeah, fucking NASA literally has a contract with Disney and one of the Hollywood uh, movie sets. Why? Because space is the final frontier, but created in a Hollywood basement. Right? It's ironic that we have all these space uh, shows. We had, uh, look, Mel Brooks uh, uh, spoof on Star Wars, Spaceballs. We had uh, Star Wars. We had Star Trek. You know, we had all, the, all this futuristic shit. Well, guess what? That was all in Hollywood. So if they really wanted to fake some, you know, some moon shit, guess what? They've already got it already set up. Right? And Buzz Aldrin also said that the fact of the matter is we never win. That's his exact words. Yeah. Yeah. Another very valid point. So if you go back and you actually look up Bowles Aldrin, like he said, when he was giving the interview to that little fucking girl, and she asked him, hey, if we went to the moon, why does it take so long for us to get back? And he said, well, because we never been. And that's just the way it happened. That's just the way it is. Word for word, that's what he said. Don't believe me, go back and prove me wrong. Right, now what's even more ironic is uh, I've come across a lot of fucking interesting topics. And don't get discouraged, ladies and gentlemen, with things that are going on in this reality, okay? Because over the last couple months, I've actually had... I've had some uplifting things happen, not to me personally, but through uh, society itself. You know, I, I'm just like everybody else. So there's uh, YouTube uh, channels that I follow uh, and things like that. And some of these YouTube channels are starting to get caught up to the things that I was already talking about years ago. Like I started saying with the structures of the buildings and shit, right? Um, now, here's another thing that I want to fuck your head up with. Mountains. Mountains is a very controversial topic, okay? Mountains are not what, well, nothing in this reality is what you think it is, okay? So, all these mountains that we see in front of us, yeah, they're all the remnants of the Nephilim, right? The fallen, fallen angels. Like, if you could actually pay attention, like, to some of the surroundings you and use your, your mindset, you could see faces poking up. I see that one way back there, the very big one kind of reminds me a little bit of a face. 
there's two pyramids right over there there's a small one and then the biggest mountain if you actually look at it it actually has the points so there's two major tra um uh pyramids right over there i've showed them in other videos so i'm not going to try to get out and show them now and yeah i'm looking into the ravine right now with my nephew and yeah everything's for as far as the eye can see is blue it is blue and like I said in other videos, yo, when they do the stage the alien invasion, and I'm going to talk about that here in a second, when they do the stage the alien invasion, all this blue shit in the air is going to serve them for several different reasons, right? And I'm so glad that people are finally catching up to what I was saying before. When I started noticing this blue in the air, hey, what happens when they turn the 5G on, right? Now, I've, I've come across a lot of videos here in the last couple days especially with people talking about the metal that's in their body well what they're failing to realize is what i keep showing you with the mountains is how that metal is getting in your body right that's all that is is metal out there right so all these videos that you see about fucking people talking about oh my god they're getting nervous that, you know if they turn 5g on it's like you you know them throwing you in a microwave bro i literally said that in my videos five fucking years ago Right, that that's exactly when I started noticing this. I said, "Hey, you know, mm, that's probably a possibility that this thing's a fucking weapon, yo. Know, because then they could target a small area by just turning a small group of these things on, or they could nuke the entire plane of existence by turning them all on at the same time. And that would not only fry you, but guess what happens if you have all these particular metals in the air? It turns the air itself into plasma." That means there's no oxygen. So even if you survive the burn, there's no oxygen. They just burnt it all up in a giant fireball. Yeah, these are things that I talked about five, five, six years ago. Right? And now they're all coming to fruition. And now people are starting to finally see a lot of the things that I saw years ago. So now, back to the mountains. So if mountains are not what we were taught, right? They're, they're the fallen giants and shit which is i which i can prove by mining right words i keep telling you pay attention to your fucking words you ever wonder why they say gold vein when they're you know when they're uh prospecting they're looking for gold veins yeah they're not talking metaphorically they're talking literally if that if that, if that was once a living being right and how many uh movies about gods have they depicted the gods bloods being uh gold right all of them anyway every last one of you gods of egypt right blood uh, dirt it's got gold right so if they knew that then that brings a whole new perspective to gold vein Right, so they would be looking for the heart of this creature if they wanted to find a massive. That's how they know where to start prospecting, where to start digging. They knew that these were falling in, uh, whatever the fuck, you know, falling the offspring of fallen angels, Nephilim, right, giants. They knew that they were once living beings, and if they found their heart where the heart was, there would be this very freaking, you know, lucrative material there. So your gems, your gems are other bodily fluids, right? Crystallized fucking plasma. You ever look at sand and wonder why sand is the color it is? You ever look at plasma, right? Human blood, plasma. Right? If you were to freeze plasma, I guarantee it would look just like sand. Right? So if you were to dry it out over a period of time, I guarantee it would look just like sand. That's a lot of living material. But if your mountains, right, were living beings, how big were these fucking beans, right? And if these beans were everywhere in the world, yeah, they, and they were turned to petrified. And don't tell me you don't believe in petrification because look, Hawaii was just hit with a massive amounts of fire. And if you actually dig into that, they found petrified animals. And I'm not talking about just, you know, the the frog video that's still left on online uh but they they were talking about birds they were in flight uh animals that were in in the middle of a movement a frog in mid leap petrified boom so what medusa just came back into this fucking reality and started looking at motherfuckers
All right, I'm not gonna preach for too much longer. One thing I will fucking say is you better do some research. Go back on my fucking, my very first video I ever made. All right, some of the medicine that's in there. Bro, the most important medicine, important medicine in this reality right now is turpentine. I've proved it time and time again with every infection that there is in this fucking reality so far, y'all. And you know, I've been running with it for a long time. Tooth infections, doesn't matter. Right? Bronchial, lung, doesn't matter. This shit kills it. If you don't know how to make your own fucking turpentine by now, you better learn. Right? Because it's fucking one of the easiest things to do in this reality. And it is one of the most beneficial things to do in this reality. I can tell you real quick, you find a good pine tree, we'll do some research because there's three different species of pine trees in this reality right now. Two are not so good for you. And one of them is one that you get um, pine spirits from. So you got to go online. I don't know off the top of my head which one it is. Um, but... Uh, it's basically your Christmas. I, I can look at it and tell you which one it is, but I can't physically tell you the name of it because I, I don't know. But anyway, you get the sap from that and then you do the uh, three to one ratio. So if you use one cup of water, you use three cups of fucking pine sap, right? And then you still it. You just boil it on a campfire, collect the steam through a fucking pipe. So you could use a tea kettle with a, a makeshift copper fucking tubing to go back into another jug and get collected into another jug. The oil is not gonna evaporate. So you're not gonna lose any product by doing this. And then you'll get a water oil mix, right? So all you gotta do is put it in a container with a little valve on the bottom and you can bleed out the water. Now you got 100% pure turpentine oil. That is the most, dilute it, dilute it. Dilute it with some shit. Put it in some, put a couple drops or a teaspoon and some fucking honey. Mix it up. Yo, put a little bit of lemon, some, some clove, some cinnamon in it, right? Bam. You got some of the most potent medicine in this reality. You don't need doctors. You don't need medication that's going to make your nipples fall off. Right? So yeah, again, I'm sorry I haven't made a video fucking in quite some time. Life's been beating me up just the same as it's been beating everybody else up. Uh, I haven't really been able to get out as much as I wanted to. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like the sun's getting ready to actually set over there. Yeah. Bro, the sun sets way out there. I have photos of it setting way the fuck out there. Even if it shifted in the horizon, bro, that's like a full quarter turn. Right? Because if it used to set way the fuck out there, now it's setting way the fuck over there. Hmm. I know fucking, yeah. The equinoxes and all that shit. All right. I think I'm going to cut it here just because I'm kind of, I'm like everybody else, man. I'm getting kind of beat up with this reality, y'all. Like, it's starting to look like I'm literally going to have to work like a slave the rest of my life and have absolutely nothing to show for it. And the first inclination that something slips up, it all gets taken from you. Listen, I'm almost 50 fucking years old. Okay, I've started over in this reality more times than I care to remember. It is painful and it's even more painful when you get established and you have everything you need, but you're only one person. So you're literally living paycheck from paycheck. So the second that paycheck falls, literally your entire life crumbles and you go very easily wind up homeless on the fucking street in the matter. What is that shit? I'm a 10 year army vet. I don't get any benefits from the freaking government, but I got plenty of hurt. Right? Now, again, I'm going to try to, uh, like I said before, I'm going to try to incorporate uh, those videos that I was talking about where I was showing 
uh, the distance over here with the big uh, steam cloud and uh, it being shut off. I mean, I can see the line right where the steam cloud is from here, too. It's pretty, pretty creepy because uh, the scenery from that point on starts getting blue. Like you can see from here down, it's all brown. And then from that line where the steam was on, everything's blue. It's like two different realities butted up against each other. It's kind of wild. I love coming up here. It's so peaceful coming up here sometimes, yo. And a lot of the times that uh, I come up here, something always happens crazy up here. Um, haven't necessarily seen too much crazy today. I do see... I do see them turning on 5G because uh, the clouds have all those ripples in them. So I don't know what they're trying to do. And never nothing, but I'm going to turn the camera around here for a second. But I've been seeing, like, I don't know. I, I won't be able to see if you guys see it. it. might be upside down, whatever the case might be. But, like, the horizon's been getting really kind of weird lately you know at sunrise and sunset it always looks like this right but but look you have bright blue nothing everywhere right bright blue nothing everywhere but only with the sun in the direction of the sun they have the sun blotted out right just literally in that region like and it's like that most days like if you start paying attention first thing in the morning it is really like that and then like at night uh, like it is now when the sun's going down again. It's really like that so I Don't know if that again. I don't know if that was upside down I'll find out here when I go back to the house and critique the video um Again one more, one more time just pay attention look at those mountains back there, right? Yeah, I'm looking through a windshield uh, But those mountains are blue Right, that's the amount of shit that you're breathing in every day so these people that are constantly talking about you know throwing aluminum foil or metal into a microwave yeah that's what i've been kind of worrying it's right go back and look at my video called the fog on my my youtube right i literally have a freaking video called the fog where i start talking about this right this exact shit all right guys on that note, I hit the 45 minute mark plus the other two videos that I'm throwing in here and a couple pictures that'll bring it right up to the one minute, which is, I mean, the one hour, uh, which is right around where I wanted to be anyway. I just wanted to say, yo, thank you. Um, because I know I don't have that many subscribers, but I do know that there is a lot of people out there that freaking, uh, that watch my, my, my channel. So. I'm grateful for all you guys, so I'm not just completely talking to myself all the time. You know, I appreciate having an audience, so don't get it twisted. Um, with that, be safe, man, because I have a real big uh, feeling it's going to really start. I just remember one of the most crucial things that I didn't bring up yet. Listen, you think it's freaking crazy now? You truly think it's crazy now? No. It's going to get really fucking crazy from here on out. You want to know why? Okay. So, two quick things. And I'm not going to get into another tangent, but two quick things. Right? Look at what Cat Williams just did. Okay? Cat Williams just came out and just brutally exposed a lot of Hollywood. And it wasn't just him. Look at Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown just came out and said some really off the wall next level shit. And I've been talking, that's what prompted kind of some of this shit. Cause me and my nephew were talking about some of the things that that dude said. And let me tell you what, if you actually think about some of what that motherfucker said, yo, he brings torture to a whole new level, a whole new level. And that means that they have technology and sinister technology and sinister ways of doing things that you could never comprehend even listening to the words coming out of his mouth you won't comprehend or appreciate what he's trying to tell you unless a motherfucker like me is like oh shit this is what he meant by that all right i'll tell you exactly what he said because i don't care anymore he said that they have the ability of pulling you out of spiritually pulling your soul out of a body and putting it in another body now you could go and look at his last interview where he said that. Actually, he's been alluding to that in all of his interviews, but his very last one, he comes out and he says exactly that. Now, when you hear that, you don't understand the implications or the ramifications of said action, 
right? If that's the case, then what's stopping them from pulling you out of a body, putting you in a body, eating your ass alive to the point of death, and then just re-uploading you into the next body with every conscious memory of the, the, the so they could just stack lifetime on top of lifetime on top of lifetime on top of lifetime. What do you think that would do to your fucking brain after a while? Hmm? So if you haven't seen the Orlando Brown uh, video, but you have seen the Cat Williams, and it's like, damn, bro, Cat Williams is saying some off-the-wall shit for years now. Okay, well, then go listen to what Orlando Brown has to say about the situation, because that motherfucker is talking about some next-level black magic shit. Okay, Cal Williams talks about the Illuminati and all that. That's great. That's great. But what are some of the weapons they're going to be utilizing against you? Well, go listen to Orlando Brown because he's going to tell you. And on that, I say, y'all, be smart, be wise, and do not consent, man. Do not consent to anything. Yo, if anything in this reality pushes you to that point where you got to ask yourself if you're, you're comfortable doing it, that is this reality testing you to see how well it's going to compromise you. So if you have any form of belief, best believe that this reality is going to try to make you go against that belief and test you. If you fucking falter from your own ideologies and your own beliefs, you failed. How could you be worth anything if you can't even uphold your own fucking beliefs? Right? Think about that. They're going to test you. Oh, you you say you're you you worship Jesus? They're going to test you. You're going to say you worship Christ? They're going to test you. You you love God? They're going to test you. Right? They're going to see if you're going to put pussy, money, fame, fortune, success, over God. And they might even push you to the limit of being homeless, broke, fucking AIDS ridden, flea infested, teeth rying out. They're probably going to push you to the point where you physically feel like you. And see, this is what I was talking about before, right? With the suicide. See, what I was talking about has nothing to do with suicide. This, <laughs> this reality hasn't pushed me to shit. Granted. It sucks and I hate being here, but if I was suicidal, I would have probably off myself for over a year ago before I started making these videos because that's right around when I said, fuck this reality. It's pointless, right? Now I feel even worse about that, but you know, I've been hearing people coming out with these other videos talking about this other shit. So there is, there is an awakening going on. People are waking up and they are waking up to the things that are most important in this reality. And the most important thing in this reality is our past history. Again, how the fuck do you know what the change in this reality if you don't know what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Well, I've already talked about that. Again, we're about to go fucking eat. All right, I have, uh, I have a good dinner planned out. Uh, I just gotta get my lazy ass, you know, to go buy some shit and cook some shit, but it's gonna be fucking great when it's done, man. Um, be safe, bro. Be safe. All y'all. Alright, brother, man. Uh, anything you wanna throw in there before we fucking wrap it? Nah, just... I know I just rambled really hard body and I didn't really give you a chance to fucking... Keep throw. yourself safe. That's it. Don't give in. Now... All right, let me ask you a question, though. All right, so you're on the outside looking in. You heard me preach about some fucking, uh, some shit that would really make most people's heads pop. I mean, what, what's your perspective on me, like, when it comes to this particular shit? I mean, I know what you tell me off camera, but <laughs> we're on camera now, so. I 100% uh, I believe, and I've said this before to other people, that you have a deep, connection to an understanding that nobody else that I've ever found has whether or not anything that you know you said like you said in your in your own videos and you say constantly time and time again check fact check people you know come back and prove me that I'm wrong right every time that I do that every single time that I do that I always find truth in something that you say right so 
at the end of the at the end of the day, there are insights that your mind allows you to see and that you spiritually awaken to that nobody else has attuned to. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, this was unscripted. I, I just I just asked the guy, you know, because I was curious. You know, when we were coming up here, I'm like, you know, I we should be recording our conversations, and I should be getting your opinion on some of this shit, you know. And uh, even even your uh, female friend there, even she said some crazy shit too. Like, yeah. God damn, that's one smart motherfucker. Yeah. My yeah. boss just made a comment too because he uh, he just surprised me. He's like, yeah, I watch I watch a bunch of your videos and I'm really intrigued by what you fucking say because yeah, you're a really smart dude and uh, yeah, you see a lot of different angles and you say it all in the videos and it's like once you start watching one of the videos, you're either one of two people. You're you're, you're one of the people that's going to instantly shut the freaking video off because it's just over your head or your attitude or your abrasiveness just rubs people's nipples the wrong way and they just don't want to deal with it or they're stuck and the next thing they know they're neo strapping themselves into the matrix just like he did and fucking just downloading everything they can just sucking it up like a sponge well thank you i appreciate that because then it, it makes me feel like you know my work isn't in vain you know i'm not just doing this just do this if there is people out there that appreciate me putting a bullseye on my back because if you don't think that people putting this kind of information and this kind of ideology out there puts a bullseye on the back. You're seriously wrong. They want fucking mindless slaves. And everything I've ever taught you was to be the exact opposite and not give credence to evil, Satan, any of them little pussy ass bitches. Oh, speaking of which, hey, Lucy, you fucking fag. Hey, my offer still stands. Right? How many video goes did I say, hey, let any of these pussy ass demons come before me, whether it's Baal, whether it's Cthulhu, whether it's Leviathan, whether it's fucking Azazel, well, any of them, Lucy himself, let's go, let's go, I truly, I truly want to fight you motherfuckers, okay, but I want to do it the right way, on an even playing field, whatever you have, I have. You got any, you know, arcane knowledge of the fucking mystics? So do I. You got eons of battle fucking strategy? So do I. You got mystical fucking weapons of shit destruction? So do I. Let's do this. Let's do this. If you, if you win, I'll go with you. If I win, you leave this reality forever. You leave this reality and you leave this reality alone forever. Come on, it's my soul versus your playing field. What's up, bitch? I ain't got nothing else to lose. What about you? Moving on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing that's going to stop old Lucy boy from seeing this fucking video. Just like the last time I said the same thing, the little Lucy boy, right? And you're afraid of the devil? Bro, he's the biggest pussy ever. I know if I had as much power as the devil, I wouldn't be hiding behind the scenes. No, I'd be kicking in motherfuckers' doors. Right? I'm the fucking bitch up in this motherfucker. That's how I'd be rolling. Not like, oh, let's do some shit behind the scenes and um, let's poison them and lie. To Bro, you're a bitch. How am I supposed to fear that? Why, how am I supposed to be afraid of that? You have no power. You don't, you can't create nothing. You use lies and deception to try to portray like you're, you got the same power as father. No, no, you really don't. Because if you did, you would have been able to bless your fucking following. They wouldn't be in hell right now. <clears throat> Pussy. My offer still stands whenever you're ready. I mean, I am physically getting older. I am pushing 50. So, I mean, you won't, you know, you better hurry the fuck up. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, guys. I love y'all. And I'm out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check this shit out. So, in one of my other videos, I posted a stream kind of like this. And after... It downpoured in the area beyond. Now, this is this mountain, the same mountain that I come up all the time. Right? You can't even see the mountains anymore. 
But whatever this is, I don't know what this is, but it's a solid stream of steam. And it's going right over there, just out of view. And it's making a perfect wall that you can't see through. But it's clear above it. Look at that. It seems to be coming from somewhere over there. I'm going to have to do some research and see if there's like a factory or something over there. But I guarantee there is. Oh, look. There's a triangle right there. Interesting. Look, you see the triangle? Right? Look, right there. See it? Again, you shouldn't be able to see triangle. Look, there's another one right, right up there. Look at that. Look, look in the phone. See, I got eyes for it. I've been doing this for a long time. There's another one right there with a bunch of shit coming out the back of it. I gotta zoom in right there. Look, right on the fucking camera again. fucking everywhere look at this now ladies and gentlemen what was crazy about this particular thing right i have my sexy truck right here all right we just drove it up here and we came over here and when we got up here the whole back side of the mountain all that was all clear and literally as soon as we pulled into this this spot right here this whole area was just baked with freaking steam fog whatever the fuck you want to call it giant chemtrail that's what I call it All right oh look at that little bubble right there what's that interesting oh the walls climbing yo the walls climbing you see that? It's getting higher now. Look, and the sun wants to bust out, but that fucking triangle sitting right in front of it. Well, I hear thunder in that direction way over there. Yeah, somewhere is going to get fucking hammered or rain. Hammered. Look at how look how the fog is rolling in down there. Yo, this fucking camera sucks. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yo, it is just wiping out all these trees. You see that shit? It's like they turned it back on. Look, it's almost up to the sky already. Look at that. Look at that whole area. Oh shit. That whole area is whited out over there. Shit, it's getting serious. Oh man, it's working its way back up towards us. I hear stupid people.